this is it, basically. These are all the pedal, and this is kind of maybe more than are usually around. So the pedals that I've used for, I mean, the best, better part of three decades, it's an MXR Phase 90, which I only use for the beginning of killing in the name, you know? Like, it's, it's like one. Other than that, it doesn't get turned on. That's it. It's got like, it's a one, it's like a, it's like a pinch hitter, it's like a, a specialist. It yeah. comes in. Um, the EQ pedal I use exclusively for boost okay. on songs. So it's, it's from back in the days of playing clubs when you couldn't trust the sound man to know when the guitar solo was gonna come. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm gonna take that out of your hands. I'm gonna be loud when the guitar solo comes. You don't yeah. worry about that. I'm gonna take care <laughs> of that. So it's set flat, str flat and up okay. for that. Um, then I have two identical uh, delay pedals. One is for, uh, just so I don't have to change the settings mm. so much during the show. Uh, one is just sort of the long delay which accompanies all of the, you know. <laughs> for your astral pleasure right there. Uh, <laughs> and then um, then the other one is, is, is like, there's only a total of three settings between these two, and this one sort of goes back and forth between this ping pong delay, which... Uh, issues with having uh, like notes not sustaining for, for the finger tapping because sometimes guys will juice that with a, a boost pedal oh, to, to no, not have the notes no, I mean, drop I, out. I always use the, the only gain, the only gain is just the gain from the head, you yeah. know, which is, which is pretty substantial. Yeah. I just kind of smack down on it pretty hard there. Cool. Um, and then there's the, the, the whammy pedal, which is kind of the, one of the, uh, one of the things that really helped me break out of the niche of sounding like a bunch of other players. Uh, I never, w w um, could really wrap my head around rack gear. Yeah. And I bought one piece of rack gear and I couldn't even figure out how to plug it in. So I thought that's probably not for me. So when they had a harmonizer in a pedal, I thought, well, perhaps that's something that I could make work. And then it had, I found that in addition to the harmony settings, which, you know, include like the fifth, which is heard on songs such as Know Your Enemy. <laughs> like that, um, it had, Sort of a bonus little <laughs> thing was the was the octaves was the octave the two octaves up and that I would just like took great liberties to create sheets of white noise that could be manipulated in a lot of different ways. For example, during the song um, "Bullet in the Head," which goes. <laughs> And so it really was a matter of just looking at the guitar in a different way and like, okay, I've got a toggle switch and I can make some noise, so maybe something can happen. And then on a more melodic front, um, uh, in the band Audio Slave, where we had more chord progressions and sort of prettiness going on, the a more sort of uh, soaring solo in Like a Stone went like. <laughs> Now I gotta go back to the, the octave, the two octave up. Is that something that you would use like on the very beginning, shortly, uh, like uh, you're the boomerang? 
in terms of that. Oh that yeah, sure. Harshness. I don't really remember how to play that one, but yeah. No, no, but just in terms of <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, like she. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just wanted to. Yeah, yeah. It was a ni- it was a nice sort of arrow to have in the quiver to be able to play, make these kind of, you know, dog's ear piercing, yeah. you know, sheets of white. Noise that was just a personal thing because I've I'm like if I ever get time, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm asking that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So what else is that kind of your three? different... Yeah, yeah. So then then uh, yeah. Oh no, then there's the the short delay, which is written down here so handily and that you know i would you know sort of mess around with uh Slap back delay, which provides some options. Cool. And how do you use the wah? And so the wah, I mean, I, I the rarely filter. use it in. I mean, sometimes I use it in like the the sort of traditional wah, you know. <laughs> sort of traditional shredding, bluesy, whying ways. Uh, but I also found that it provided, uh, like it helped sort of in the in the scratching area. So when I scratch, I could put the, tr- click on the wah, depress it all the way, and it makes for even more of kind of like a white, noisy, you know. And then you can. Something like that, yeah. uh, and then uh, the uh, sort of the another sort of curious wah thing that happens is I found that if you this is just some sort of crazy electronic magic that occurs if you take the original Digitech whammy pedal, you turn it on, you set it to one oct- one or two octaves up, you turn it on, don't depress it, just leave it there. Mm-hmm. You turn your wah wah pedal on like that. Is it on? It, you turn it on. You unplug your guitar. You make a noise with that. You touch anything to that, and all of a sudden, craziness happens. You don't even need string. You don't even change your strings when you do that. Your, your strings will last forever. <laughs> Just pure experimentation. <laughs> And the last pedal here is sure. that you made a remark in the interview you did with PG about a month ago was uh, that this is your version of taking this pedal, putting it in your pedal board, <laughs> is to take back sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, a, this is a Digitech Space Station, which was like sort of a somewhat crappy pedal that they came up with in the aftermath of my first two records, yeah. where they seem to have <laughs> gone through the sounds of those records and tried to put them in a pedal they could then sell to people without calling me about that. Um, uh, <laughs> and so you're stealing this, them back. Is this on? Hey, uh, Brad, is this on? It's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. This it, it's a, it creates a lot of like extra noise in the line, so we have it like completely separated, and gotcha. it's only we hit like the Megatron button when it's time to. Uh. Yeah. So um, what it is, I, I only use a couple of the settings because I find most of them are pretty unusable. Mm. But but there are some that you know are pretty cool, which is my on here. <laughs> Like you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's built in. You don't have to. <laughs> That'll save you years of practice. Just plug that thing in. <laughs>